All right, you guys, so this past Sunday, <laughs> Katy Perry hit the stage during the Super Bowl halftime show for the biggest performance of her career, and girl totally killed it. In fact, it was the highest rated halftime show ever with almost 120 million viewers. That's crazy. But the thing is, this week people are totally hating on it, like tearing it to shreds. Some are even saying it is all part of an Illuminati satanic ritual. What is that about, people? Okay, let's take it down a couple notches. Say it with me now. WTF? All right, so first and foremost, Katie's halftime show was amazing, totally on brand. I mean, eccentric Jeremy Scott costumes, people dressed as surfboards and sharks, polka dot swimsuits, everything about it screamed Katy Perry, and I wasn't surprised at all. Not to mention, Missy Elliott and Lenny Kravitz were the perfect addition. The whole thing was just awesome. Take a look. Right? And sure, you kind of feel like you're at Disney World, but that is her thing. In fact, if you haven't been to one of her concerts, I mean, you've seen what she's worn on the red carpet, right? There's a stranger in my bed. There's a pounding in my head. Point totally made. And as far as this whole Illuminati business, you guys, okay, I feel like this is like a little bit of a stretch, but just to fill you guys in, here are some of the reasons behind the argument. The outfit she wore in the opening is a flame pattern, which people are saying is to honor the ruler of the underworld. There are comparisons being drawn between Katie's line riding opener and the ancient Egyptian goddess Isis. The checkerboard during her performance is the mosaic design closely linked to the Freemason secret society and the use of pyramids, triangles, and circles. And not just those, but you guys, there are a ton of other comparisons being made, but I'm gonna go ahead and let the YouTube experts explain the rest. Right off the bat, the halftime show starts with Katy Perry on the back of this giant lion. Now, of course, if you know anything about sex kitten programming, which is correlated to MKUltra and is one of the tactics that the Illuminati uses in order to get these celebrities to submit to their authority, we can see this represented. This is a subliminal depiction of the Book of Revelation. It is showing the New World Order, the emerging of the end of the world. And you can see Katy Perry submitting to his authority and dropping to her knees. In addition to that, count the number of flames behind him. Yep, there's six of them. And as I'm sure many of you know, six, of course, has deep and dark associations to the Antichrist. All right, now while that is all super, super interesting, here's my thing. Okay, Katy Perry, she has worked her butt off for her career. She has had multiple number ones. She has sold out stadiums worldwide. And now finally she is at this moment, the Super Bowl, the biggest stage of her career. And um, girl kills it. Not even a single flaw in her performance, but yet this is what we're talking about. Not the fact that she totally killed it and deserves a round of applause. Well, Katy, here's your round of applause. Why all the hate people? Let's just give her a hug. So let's go ahead and take this to the WTF lesson of the day. It is time. All right, in all honesty, you guys, conspiracies aside, it is time we give credit where credit is due because our girl Katie, she killed it. Plus, I think you should keep your Illuminati thoughts to yourself. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and talk it out. What are your thoughts on Katie's Super Bowl performance? And also, what do you think about all these Illuminati conspiracies? Could they be true or no? It's a bunch of hogwash. 
Yeah, I just said hogwash. Okay, let's talk it out in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to Hollywire TV and like and fave this video as well. For Hollywire.com, I'm Chelsea Briggs, and I'll see you later.